Amaru Usman, and Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. Here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime rep. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns, and look at him post on the opposite side to give himself the right distance to land these beautiful knees. And that underhook helps him control that side of his opponent. Nicely done. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got him. He got him. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. And now Masvidal's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 26 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usu. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get into side control. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> he's having his way with him here. Usman gets back up again. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Brad. Boxing. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Oh, he might be out. Tonight, but we're gonna get you. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by.